Smash community, everything's been banned. So we only have like three stages to choose from, and that's it. Alright guys, let's play. Listen, I'm ready for <laughs> six years of playing on Pokemon Stadium. So. <laughs> we can do that legally now. Yeah. That's the future I'm Ooh, trying yes. to see. Wait, you said one or two? One, mm. two in this house. But we're not there yet. We're at Smashville. This is our the place where we are laid to eternal rest. And it's gonna be Diddy Kong versus Mario. This I'm not going to lie, it's a matchup I feel like I haven't seen in this venue in a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you credit that to Mr. E being one of the, uh, the the dormant beasts of Long Island, or the fact that it's just a strangely absent character in the city's meta. Um, yeah, I was trying to think back of who else was Marth. The first one I thought of was Cisco. That's a, that's a throwback for some people. Oh. Other other than that, like I, I, I'm trying to remember another uh, Marth. It's really just... Of course, there's a Lucina. Of course, you got Max, but... Yeah. And also Mr. E. But, you know, Mars is, as you said, scarcely seen in the scene. And, of course, on the last day, you got to see him on the Mars. Why not? But about how well this Marth is doing against Dill is a... Uh, it's another story. Well, you also, you know, have to credit Dill and, you know, how good he is. <laughs> as, as you said, Dillcember. Dill <laughs> uh, Dillvember. Do October. We just take a look at the 2018 Dillinder, see which <laughs> month he's winning. But yeah, he, he's good, and of course you can't you can't discredit Raga. He's still putting in some work. Oh my goodness, see, not he's not dying that easy, not at all. Whoa. See, look at that. <laughs> able to avoid everything. He's not dying that easy. He's like, Dill, I know you're good, but you know, I'm not gonna let you take the stock away from me. You're at 44 percent, so what? Back though, says what? So banana back. Oh my you know, goodness. it's almost sad. Dylan's managed to break down how to Ooh. assert ledge pressure to a science. And he's going to have to edit some of his notes come next week. Well, just drop your items while you're in the hits line or in... <laughs> you know, everyone's talking about that today. Like, that's something that's insane. But everyone's Z-drops at different angles. And sometimes it might not be the best thing to do. I'm just saying. I know everyone likes to pop off about quirky things, like it's the, the next brokenness, but friendly reminder, there was a point in Smash 4's life where Diddy couldn't get grabbed. Nope. Y'all like to oh. forget that. <laughs> Y'all don't want to remember that Diddy used to be more of a menace than what you're seeing right now. Never forget. Never forget the beginnings of hoo-ha and Hungry Boss getting really angry. Oh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> thanks to our friends and family in uh, CFL. Shout outs. If there's any community that's looking to rile a crowd and hype up the, the, the boys, it's definitely Florida. Florida is quite the beast when it comes to uh, the crowd. But well, you can't sleep on New York. We, we do remember uh, a couple New of months back. Yeah, New York ain't no slouch. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Fast sound. <laughs> Anyways, we're going game, to two. game two. We got the Bayo switch. I like it, but I'm, I'm hoping it can help Raiga because we didn't really get a chance to see him use Marth's tools in this matchup. Like, like, yeah, the matchup is a bit funky, especially considering, like, how Dill is able to so confidently control the ledge. But Marth is typically able to outspace the Diddy Oh, that was kind of smart. He really was expecting him to be, uh, to be a monkey flip, but he expected a little too soon. A little early read. I think it was just a matter of, because uh, you witch time the banana, and yeah. if Diddy's in close proximity, he gets uh, witch timed. And that's what he's aiming for, yeah, because he, he, I think he was really trying to get that monkey flip uh, red. That much. I feel like I've never seen Dill lose to... Um, Bayo? I feel like something always happens to the Bayonetta. Ooh, well, but I guess winning is a nice change of pace. Uh, right oh. taking the stock. Get that, get that um, dump taunt, almost like uh, your DDD. So now he's just going to stay on the ledge. I like the concept. He's just got to not commit to bullet art, uh, art extensions. Or if he is, go for something a little bit more mobile. He's not really at a percentage uh, range with his rage to threaten with a, a kill off of one hit. But Dill cannot afford to throw out a uh, smash attacks. Oh my goodness. See how much damage he could rack up? No. Oh, just. Oh, hold on. Forward throw. At the oh. ledge. Raga wildin' right now. Yeah. Kinda turned it up with this bail switch. Dill, of course, still staying calm, still staying focused. All right. Man, sharpshooting out here. Take the banana out of the sky. Actually, a pretty interesting uh, option that seems to have worked out decently. 
Or I guess safely coming back to the ledge, but he is seriously hurting. Oh, last hit, getting him. So now, you know, all right, so does got the stock, but 72%, a little bit of trouble against Bayonetta. Oh, wow. Just barely missing the witch time on the banana. game right now who's who's gonna slip it no pun intended like D dill knows that he doesn't necessarily have to like break formation with banana in hand and pop gun at the ready like he's able to lock himself Ooh. down decently oh okay. or he can just choose to not <laughs> di his eyes almost rolled downstairs <laughs> but they stay in his head and he's ready to go back in for game three all right so game three Riga switch uh working out to his benefits so far now Dill needs to walk away for a moment. He needs to collect himself. Survival. He's coming to say hi to Devin and, and us in the stream. Oh, he's close. Yeah, he's, he's uh, close, uh, but he's someone's closer. Laugh popping in. Little, little smirk. Oh, there it is, the water. That's what it is. You always got to stay hydrated, even in the old game, new game, any game. Definitely want to stay hydrated. Definitely outside the game, too. I'm trying not to be dehydrated. Yeah, especially on these long trips. Maybe when you're in the subway or stuck in traffic, because this is New York City. Don't yeah, it's, it's, it's mostly me just riding on trains and wishing that the trains would go somewhere quicker or, you know, where they're supposed to. All right, so game three. Will Riker get the upset or will Dill just, just keep going? Winner of this plays King Ark, and how dominant King Ark is, this, whoever gets the next match is going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, I feel like as far as uh, character-wise, um... I actually feel like King Ark could give Dill a run for his money. Or even more impressive, possibly force Dill off of King Kong. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like we haven't seen that in a very long time either. That would be nice. Um, going, going back to memory lane, I still remember the night where uh, Dill broke up the uh, Brawl Rob. <laughs> that, was a, that was a beautiful night. It was just memories of Dino while we're doing commentary at the last Smash 4 tournament in New York City at Zeno Zero. With Dill versus Raiga in winner's quarters right now. And then on the flip side of things, let's assume that Raiga does manage the upset over Dill and has to move on to fight King Ark. Um, Mega Man versus Bayonetta or Marth. Let's, let's presume that those are the only two characters in Raiga's kit. Um, are fairly interesting matchups. Oddly linear, just because uh, Bayonetta has no problem with shutting down a lot of Mega Man's uh, pressure. And Marth, one of the few characters who can confidently zone break Mega Man despite how mobile or offensive that Mega Man is. Oh, all these percentage out there. All right. While these percentages climb, we're getting closer and closer to that kind of a reality, but... Oh, nice. Anything like, uh, can happen. Still. So here's the thing. Okay, at 81%, I mean, um, Raika's had a little bit of trouble. Still can take the stuck very quickly like he did in the last game, but um, Raika doesn't really want to hear any about this at all. He's avoiding, though. He's waiting on the platform, waiting for his attack. Yeah, he's got no reason to approach. Not at all. Why would you want to? Still wants his head on a platter right now. Oh, he wanted that. That was particularly messy option coverage from Raiga, and I would be surprised if he ends up dying while like Dill has advantage currently. Oh, he would take me. Oh, oh not, no. Not the direction he wanted. Not the like of this, Dill. Oh, my gosh. Not and that's the like it. of this. And Dill, uh, who, who knows if we'll continue Dill Sober or Dill Vember or whatever it is, but he's in losers now. Oh, I'm looking at this losers bracket. I'm pretty confident in, in uh, Dill Sember. <laughs> Not, not to. Uh, not to knock anybody. Everybody's yeah, not killed. to disrespect the entirety of losers bracket, but I don't think they want a, a Diddy in there. And 